we're going to need to bundle up over the next few days with these temperatures over our area that are mostly in the teens and even some spots a little bit cooler. It's 10 degrees in Atlanta in Alpino. We're sitting at 17 degrees and it's 15 degrees in Oscoda. Our wind chills are in the single numbers. So with these cold temperatures combined with the wind, it feels more like five in Alpena and three in Oscoda. And I wanted to show you just how expansive this cold air is. It's three degrees in Green Bay, minus four in Duluth. All of these pink colors over parts of Minnesota, North Dakota are indicating temperatures below zero and some of the interior areas of northern Michigan closer to I-75 may even see the temperatures dipping below zero in the overnight hours. Winds currently are coming out of the west southwest at 10 miles per hour in Alpena, south southwest winds in Oscoda at nine miles per hour, lighter in Atlanta at four miles per hour. Those west southwest or southwest winds are helping to bring in these lake effects snow showers off of Lake Michigan up towards the Petoskey area and into Sheboygan. Also another little batch of some lake effects snow just to the south of that moving through the Vanderbilt area north of Gaylord. Much of this is staying to our west. There's a separate system off to our south, and if enough moisture gets north enough, there is a chance that later this evening into tonight we might see a few passing flurries, but behind that we'll be seeing the air drying out and some breaks of sunshine developing for tomorrow. So Futurecast here is bringing us that chance of some flurries late this evening into tonight, but that wraps up pretty quickly and then some drier air, but also remaining quite cold as we go through Tuesday. We should see a mix of sun and clouds with afternoon temperatures pretty similar to what we saw today. Then going into Wednesday, we'll continue to have dry weather in our area and it's going to stay dry through early Thursday for tonight. Low temperatures near two degrees in Alpena, four degrees in Oscoda, minus two in Onaway, with a chance of a few flurries passing through the area as we go into tonight. Then for tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with highs near 17 degrees in Alpena, close to 20 in Tawa City, 16 in Mayo, and a breeze out of the west about 10 miles per hour. Wind chill, so how it's going to feel tonight, going below zero for most places. Wind chills tomorrow afternoon, close to five. So even though our temperatures will be in the teens, much like today, it'll feel colder than what the actual temperature is. And then going into early Wednesday, we're going to be waking up to wind chills between between minus 5 and minus 10, so that's going to feel quite cold as we begin Wednesday. For tomorrow, highs near 17, a mix of sun and clouds, a low temperature of zero on Wednesday, but the wind chills dropping below zero, highs near 18 and mostly cloudy. For Thursday, we'll be starting off near two degrees, also starting off with dry weather. It's going to be late Thursday that we'll have a chance of flurries moving in, highs around 18 degrees. On Friday, we have a higher chance of a few snow showers with highs near 16 degrees, and then just really cold over the weekend. A chance of flurries for Saturday with highs near 12, also about 12 and mostly cloudy on Sunday. At this point, I am forecasting temperatures dropping below zero early in the morning next Monday, mostly cloudy for Monday afternoon with highs near 16 degrees.